Okay, hi. Um, today it's the Crash My Pi video, and I'm demonstrating how to um, how to use variables in the classic traffic light um, system. Uh, this is a great one for um, lots of things in the Qt2 curriculum. It um, it's a problem. It's what part of the problem needs to break down to small little bits. Use variables. It shows the feather and the if command for selection. Um, it's got debugging as well, and um, that, that, that break up that curve. So I'm going to show you so basically the idea behind it. Um, so we've got three variables for lights: red, yellow, and green. One, zero, and zero, and all the lights have is a code. If red is 1, it shows. If not, it hides. For yellow, same thing. If it's 1, it shows. 2, it hides. Green, it 1, it shows. 2, it hides. Um, great problem with the kids can if it's like 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and they can react um, very quickly. Um, the button, if it's pressed, it goes to um, it goes to number 1. And the fact, actually, I'm going to just add something in here. I am going to put down a costume change. So it, oh, script, sorry, looks. It's going to switch to costume number, button number two. Then it's going to wait for a second and then go back to button number one. So it's a nice way of showing that the button's kind of been. Um, being pressed. There we go. Um, that's what it does. And it sets the variable go to one. Um, for the variables go. So basically, at the start, we've got goes on zero, red one, zero, zero. So that means red showing. Then it's got a forever command. It waits till go is, is zero, but only if go is zero. Um, then it waits during that time until the go becomes 1 then it goes through the routine here of the lights so 0, zero 1 turns green on once green's on it sets a variable called cat go to 1 and then when cat go goes to 1 it then carries on for 6 seconds then goes through the sequence here back to the normal again and the cat the cat will only go when go is 1 and cat go is 1 it then moves across and resets cat goes zero. I put in this at the start, so it's always back at the start again. Um, this is a good thing to change to children, you know, how can you make sure it, um, it turns up? So the beauty of this is watching the variables and how the variables all change. So first green flag, so we've got red one at zero, zero, and zero, zero. I'm going to press press. Now then, if I do this in turbo mode, turbo mode, so I'm going to stop it, let's press green flag now, and we're going to just go through the routine, I'm going to go on to the stage, it's better to show, I go press press, And that's supposed to show it uh, going through, but it's not. Let's press green flag again, back to zero, turbo mode. No, that must be helpful, is it? That's just so you're not helpful at all. Press that. Yellow one, green on one, cat go on one, go on one. Fantastic. And that said, that just shows variables being used. Like ones and zeros. Ones and zeros are very common in uh, in programming, um, and again, a good thing to act out in class for children. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.